Welcome back to my channel. My name is Prue or Prue LaRue. If you're new here, I'm a nurse who loves playing with makeup. And this is part of an ongoing series that is inspired by Annette's Makeup Corner, which is the makeup roulette with my single eyeshadows. I was thinking about what I wanted to do and this just came to me because it's so much fun. I really enjoy doing these. So I have put the new ColourPop shades into my wheel, but I haven't yet put the sugar pill ones in. I'm not sure if I'm going to put them in there. I think I will. Anyway, so let's see what shades we are doing today. Oh, Colourpop keeps scrolling. Oh, I'm excited for this. We got one of the brand new Colourpop ones I just bought. I think it's raining outside. Next up is CP Freckles. This is a boring brown. I'm hoping we're not going to get all colour pop. Ah, Davina to sender. <gasps> There's been an accident. Oh no. That's so sad. I'm just going to throw it out. To sender. Cat Von D. Shit. I forgot that was in this. It was thunderstruck. Do we need to talk about like Kat Von D every time? I don't know. Davina Zanona is this beautiful green here. Whoa, it is raining heavy out there. Alright, let's see what's up next. Sydney Grace Co. Seafoam. Seafoam. This is a very green look so far. I think <laughs> Inglot 373. It is this shade here. Hmm. Oh, we're. <laughs> I chose seven. Whoops. That's alright. It's because this one is in its own little case. So here are the shades plus the Katmandi Thunderstruck that we're going to be doing a look with today. Alright, sorry. We had a sausage roll break. Just then. So I'm just going to prime my eyes while I think about what I'm going to do. Going down with the MAC Paint Pot Primer. Let's bring you in. Why not? So a lot of my brushes are out of commission at the moment because I am cleaning them. But we got my Sony G, baby. We're going to put Sifo in the inner part of my eye. So I know a while ago I made a video about how I wasn't going to support Kat Von D or use her stuff anymore. But a lot of the feedback I got back on the video was like, look, we don't care if you use the stuff that's currently in your collection. And for me, that's what it comes down to. It's such a waste to not use what's currently in my collection. I mean, realistically, I've been lucky that all her releases have been so shit that I've not been tempted by anything. So I hope it's all right that her singles are in this. But I'm pretty sure it is because you guys all said it was. So then I'm going to go into Keep Scrolling from Colourpop. Can you like even see what's going on? Oh. Sorry, I forgot that light was on. Zenona from Davina Cosmetics and this is just going to go to the outer part. And I'm just, I'm, I've washed a lot of brushes. So I'm going to use the same brush all the time. And then is it... Freckles from Colourpop. Ooh. And this one is just going to go on my outer corner. And a little bit of blending, but I don't want it to be the main star of the show. Then I'm just going to go in with, was it 373? All right. I think it could work. The problem is I don't want to put a white base down because that ruins the whole point of seeing if the shade works. So we're going in with Inglot's white shade. I 
That's pretty interesting. I mean, it's not as clean cut as if I'd done a car cruise. But to be honest, I wanted to see how the shadow performed without putting a white concealer underneath it. It's probably like a little bit more opaque than I thought it was, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to go in with oh, Kat Von D. I'm just using the same brush. I'm sort of just going to make this a shimmer. Well, I'll just do half of it, I reckon. I'm kind of enjoying this brush, so I'm going to use it to go in with to sender from Davina Cosmetics. I do feel like this wall, like, I feel like the wheel, I don't know how random it is because it seems to choose ones that are sim like close to each other on the list because I've just listed all the brands in it. It really is quite strange what it chooses sometimes. I wish it would choose me all different brands in one hit because it could. But if we keep at this, I'm sure it'll happen eventually. And let's go to the next faux white in Vanilla. Just gonna feel it's got like yellow white tinge of the Kat Von D thing. And then mascara. Yeah, let's go Nars Climax. I just feel like it's been a while since I've used it. I think we are done. Let me know what you think of this look. I'm kind of into it. I don't know, it's a bit of fun. Something a bit different. So here it is in total. So thank you for joining me for another makeup roulette. I hope you enjoyed coming along. I definitely have a lot of fun doing these and I it's just a good way to play around with my singles a lot more. Let me know what you think if you made it this far and thank you so much for watching. I absolutely appreciate it and enjoy.